trying all these different comps and it's it's amazing how competitive even just an internal like alpha testing session can get and again i, I think that's like kind of a, a bullish sign um before we dive into the gameplay anything that you want to like mention or tease like what what's been your favorite part of origin so far and all the testing that we've gotten to do yeah i think um my favorite part, hands down, are runes and charms. And I think anyone who's, you know, seen me around the Discord um, or on Twitter know that. I'm so, so excited for runes and charms. And uh, hopefully today we'll show some off. Uh, we'll see how they work. Um, and that's that's easily my favorite part, yeah. Yeah, so I think runes and charms might be coming later, right? We're going to play without them for our initial demo, and then those are going to be revealed in, what, about two hours' time, if I've got my, my timetable set up correctly. Um, maybe I'm confused. Jeff's making that face like, wait, what? We're not playing with runes and charms? Uh-oh, i got to... We're, we're going to use runes and charms, but we're going to try and only use the ones that have been previously revealed. Right. Oh, okay, I got That's you. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, Jiho. I, I like that Jiho is just this voice in the clouds that can pop in and correct us anytime we, we get off track. <laughs> uh, this is good. I, I need this in my daily life. Um, okay, cool. So runes and charms. We'll get a teaser of What's runes that? and charms today. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, Phil, how about you? What, what's been your, your standout favorite part of Origin so far? What's that? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's a function of runes and charms, but just, yeah, the number of different types of builds and, and combos and kind of different ways to uh to have different strategies um is, is just crazy um and so you know i used to play pokemon cards when i was younger actually i played in like tournaments and things like that and it's definitely you know much closer where you're like you know always trying to to put together interesting new cards and decks and um and there's just so much variety uh so i love it yeah, I love the amount of customization. I, I think before, if you only had three axes, you were really stuck with a, a pretty limited set of cards, and you couldn't really do much besides buy more axes to switch up your combo. But now, with one set of axes, you actually have some customization, and that, that's sort of how I see like upgrading axes. You know, it's not about uh, when we say upgrade, like making them objectively more powerful, but giving you more choices, right? Like different tech paths almost. Um, and I, I think that that can be a really powerful thing. But um, I think I'm about ready to hop into some gameplay. Unless there's like, Phil, I, I know how much you like to hype things up. I know that you're a tease at heart. So unless there's anything else you want to get off your chest, like I think I think we can try to hop in and test our, our live spectating feature here. Now, I know I am friends with Mr. Shade. So I think if you guys challenge each other, I should be able to click this TV button and uh, watch you guys play live. And if for some reason that fails, then I'm going to have to ask you to share screens on Discord. But uh, in our little okay. test yesterday, spectating was working just fine. So I think I'm ready when you guys are. Should I even just switch over and show my my in-game client, show off what my axes look like? Is it time yeah. for this review? Let's do that. All right, let's yeah, uh, let's, let's take our first step here. There you go. I've got a couple of my cutest axes, a pink one, a white one, and a black one, just to show Ooh, off some uh, of these uh, these beautiful the cosmetics yak. here. Big fan of this big yak. Uh, that's okay. that's Rosie. Rosie the backliner. Uh, she's adorable. One of my faves. <laughs> this is the um, premiere of the Big Yak. We haven't seen them before until now. I see. Well, big leak. I, big I leak guess right I, there. Yeah, Huge maybe that, leak. that wasn't planned, but you're welcome, everyone. No, that's okay. Look how I was cute it show is. it off if you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> I beat you to it, uh, and I got one with Scar as well. So really adorable here. A couple other uh, things that maybe some folks will pick up on, but maybe we'll just let them ride for now. So. Um, yeah, I think you guys can go ahead and challenge each other, and uh, I should be able to just spectate as soon as uh, if the game loads in. Phil, what what team are you playing? I don't want to play the same one. Uh, I have, I don't know, I don't even know which one I want to do yet. Uh, I was gonna go let's see. classic triple aqua. Uh, I will go with. Uh, my one of my fun ones. I'll do actually. I'll I'll do a poison team. Oh, okay, that beats me. me. <laughs> I think that beats me. Uh, okay, are you guys telling each other where you're gonna? <laughs> yeah, what is happening right now? No, I'm so confused. <laughs> I want this to be as entertaining as possible for the stream. Right, yeah, isn't go. isn't crushing Phil pretty entertaining? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm ready uh, when you guys are. Did, did you send it? Yeah, I All challenged right, you. I see it. Okay, we're in, Siori. All right, the TV didn't light up yet. 
Hey, the TV lit up. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> We're in. Okay. Let's hang in there. Okay. So here we All go. Right. A lot to digest here, folks, but we've got Green Ranger, who is Phil on the left, and we've got Shade, who is Jeff K on the right. I'm going to move my camera so it's a little bit out of the way here. There we go. I know you guys need to see my pretty face while we're uh, getting some Axie time in. So Shade will be going second, and that's why he starts with this cute energy coin here. And uh, that'll be a zero cost. That'll give him plus one energy to, to make up for the disadvantage of going second. So it'll be on Phil here to go first. And these two gentlemen are being very patient so that we have just a little bit of time to digest what's happening here. Oh my God, my turn time is running out. And yeah, go. go for it. I'm loaded <laughs> oh, in. Man. You can go ahead and start playing. Sorry, I probably should have gone ahead and tell you that. Rosa. Uh, Rosa is good, man. One. Man, I'm still reading these like card descriptions. <laughs> There's so many effects. All right, so we've got uh, Jeff K, who's well studied and has a very synergistic triple aqua lineup that we'll dive into, and then we've got Phil, who's still reading his abilities here uh, as we get into the game. So we'll go ahead and read them together. Uh, he does have two axes with Rosa, uh, innate. A lot of things to digest on this screen, but innate means you start with it automatically, so you have some strategy there, uh, and obviously you get to apply poison and sleep to random enemies. Um, then Banish takes the card. It doesn't go in your discard pile. It just goes away. So cards that have Banish, once they're Banished, uh, they're done. They're they're like out of the game, so to speak. They go into a dead pile, hey. I guess you could say. Can I talk out loud here? Is yeah, okay? please. All right, yeah. So since I go second, I get that energy coin. So I'll get four energy, but I don't have to use the energy coin right away. Um, I could save it for future turns because it has Retain. Um, so this classic aqua build, um, is one of the oldest origin builds. <laughs> uh, a lot of people during the playtests played this. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I was going to use this one too, but I decided not to because... <laughs> Try to mix it up, let people see some different things. But yeah, this is a very solid, solid build. I'm going to telescope for the Koi here. See how this works. I do 165 damage in that, because I have three Aquas. Uh, I'll do a Lamb here. And now we're going to see the beauty of Shoalstar, the energy coin. Use my energy coin, and it'll Shoalstar here. There it is. So a bit of like a culling blade type ability. If you're f familiar with Dota 2, any Dota 2 fans out there, if they're below 120 HP, then it auto kills. So uh, very powerful. You've probably seen that one on Twitter. I think Chuck Fresco was tweeting about it uh, being broken already and uh, hasn't even played the game yet. So, Right. Man, this is a... Uh... This is a no mercy game. I just, I'm just gonna get rocked here. Um, so you can see here, I have this card, the Fallen's Longsword. Oh uh, yeah. That actually is because, uh, yeah, my my uh, dead axi, uh, or not dead, painted, whatever it is, um, now gives these cards in replacement of theirs. Yeah, um, revenge cards. This is this is a, a new mechanic we haven't. One. And talked so about at all yet it. okay so a new reveal yeah um and, and the idea here is that um you get too limited if all of like if you have a dead axie and then all those cards are just gone um and you can't draw cards that do zero because that's way too much of a detriment so you get these kind of half cards that are called revenge cards so as you get down to that final axie you do get some extra kind of rng with the card draw uh, based on whether or not you're drawing cards for your alive Axie or if you're getting these revenge cards. But the revenge cards are banished cards, so um, they only get played once, and then they go away. Uh, you can see Silence Whisper, uh, much better now. It's just a targeted heal, plus 65. No longer has to be an Axie in front, so I think uh, Silence Whisper both has a great-looking cosmetic and a very useful active. So you can see some of the synergy in uh, what Shade is doing here. He's got the telescope on two axes. It's a banished card, but it lets you draw aquatics. You've got the Nemo, which is a zero cost. Gain one energy if your axie is at full HP. So a little finicky. And if you're not at full HP, then it just heals you for 25. 
Yeah, you can see uh, some of the, the aquas here have higher HP as well. Um, there are some some runes that will uh, uh, really bump those up. Yes. Yeah, aquas can kind of be tanks now, it seems like. Um, there you go, a little Nemo heal. And of course, there's double Nemo now. You got the Nemo fin, and you've got that Nemo tail. So two different types of Nemo. Green Ranger here. Yeah. So in here's a, here's a... <laughs> what do we got, Phil? What yeah. are we doing? Uh, yeah, there's there's. I mean, the the goal I was trying with this build was just poison, uh, uh, poison nonstop. But definitely hurts that one of one of my guys are gone already. Um, but this is a this is a super, uh, you know, uh, important one for poison green thorns. Apply two poison six times. Um, uh, it, once you build those up, you can really get the poison going. I see. Uh, you didn't go for the strawberry, though, huh? Uh, yeah, strawberries. Yeah, I wanted to show that, too. It, uh, yeah, gives you, uh, once you get those strawberries, um, you can, yeah, target uh, uh, differently. It's healing-based, of course, as you would expect with the strawberries. Mm -hmm. And the poison mechanic works slightly differently here in Origin. Um, now you have this, you just saw one stack falls off per round. So you right. do slowly cleanse, but you'll see that poison does get added a little bit more easily. Uh, there's a little more AoE to play with. Yeah, and it could stack up to 30. And each stack does three damage. So 30 is a lot. get a lot of damage. Yeah, it is a lot. And it's happened many times before. It's not difficult to get to 30. So more energy from what Jeff K has here. Blue Moon on two of the axes. You get a card draw. So um, if people are wondering why my HP is so high, it's because of the runes and charms, right? Um, if you click on my aquas, you'll see that I have Heart of the Ocean, which is a mystic rune, which gives all my axes 75 HP. And all three of them have Heart of the Ocean. So <laughs> you run three Aquas. Each one gets a Mystic Rune that increases the HP of your entire team. So triple Aqua, you can just beef up and get these super tanky boys. Dude, right. that's, a, that's really, really good. That that's seems, uh, seems quite strong, Mr. Shade. Yeah, almost too good. We'll see about those. <laughs> All right, another Shoal Star. So Green Ranger uh, I'm in on some my last trouble legs. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? What else do we want to? Yeah. You're... These are these are mostly show off builds. So let's see what else we can show. Um, yeah. Here's a another a couple of revenge uh, cards. Yeah, revenge cards. Um, so you can see, like, the Fallen Shield, it's both Ethereal and it's a Banish. So Ethereal is when your turn ends. If the card is still in your hand, it gets banished. Banished cards are removed from your deck until the end of the battle. Uh, and then when you use it, it also gets banished. So it's kind of saying, like, hey, use it or lose it. Yeah, you. it's it's not shown, I think, in the, the live stream, but there's a bunch of other... Uh, other UI that we have here that shows like how much energy we have, our discard piles, and all of that too. Um, and so that's just not not shown in the stream, though I believe. Ah, uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so we are watching on the spectator mode right now. That's designed to be able to see like both sides. Uh, obviously, the interface does look a little bit different from the the total first person perspective. So one, one thing to note here also is energy does not carry over like it does in Classic. Um, so you want to make sure you use all your energy. So it's it's kind of funny when you mouse over the like uh, discard counts and like how much energy you have this round. It just says enemy for both of you. So I, as a spectator, I guess you're both my enemies. <laughs> We're all enemies. All right, nice Nemo. So I can't kill here, um, but I can do 50 damage with Shoalstar. 
And I might as well because I have two energy left. And There's no such thing as saving energy or cards anymore. So like you might as well play this teal shield, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You have nothing to gain by not playing it. Right. Uh, gotcha. All right. What do we have here? All right, Phil. Big card nothing. draw here. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that is going to save me at this point, but uh, yeah, we can throw some things on. This is some bleed. Another uh, somewhat unique so, card. Kotaro seems pretty good to me. Deal two hits to random enemies. Gain one energy if at least two enemies are hit. And of course, Phil gets unlucky. <laughs> So that's a bummer. No good there. Doesn't get yeah. the extra energy. I like it. Yeah. I, I think um, I, I, I like it a lot. You, as you can see on my front line, actually, I have Kotaro and Carrot. Um, meaning I can get you know some decent free damage if everything goes right. I also like Carrot. Something else you uh, were able to draw here. Gain one no. energy if this attack causes HP loss. Uh, it only does 40 damage, but in my experience, it seems pretty frequent that you're able to get it to trigger the extra energy gain. Seems like a really strong card. And seeing one of the other uh, powerhouses no, here with the, the triple aqua, right? The Koi. It's a two energy, does big damage, then it deals bonus damage per aquatic ally. Not bad. Did I? Did I disconnect? Can you uh, hear me? I, no, we still hear you. We can hear you, but you're not playing any cards. Did you disconnect? Did you just throw the first game? I'm. <laughs> I think we might have ran into a bug here. <laughs> I'm trying to play cards, but it won't play cards. Well, I mean, everything's working Live perfectly as, as intended. <laughs> this is exactly. You know, we just wanted to give Phil the one game advantage so he'd have a chance in okay. the series. Uh, I can't enter and see what happens when the timer goes out. All right, well, the 1v3. We got a couple seconds left on the turn. And... Yeah, you, you surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we saw the power of the, uh, the triple aqua there for sure. Um, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive stuff. That was that was my strategy to win. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yeah, well done, Phil. Way to outlast him. Very nice. <laughs> Just got to stick around. Um, so, yeah, the only thing, I, I wish we got to see the strawberry. It, it costs two energy, but then it gives you these strawberries that are zero energy, and then you can use them to heal your axes. I think strawberry is mm -hmm. actually uh, pretty cute. I, I think there's going to be some cool synergies that you'll be able to do with some of these new healing cards. Uh, some of the new ears as well, I think, will have some cool cool healing synergies with some of the other parts. God, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait to see what people are going to do in terms of breaking this meta wide open, man. <laughs> yeah, they, and, and they look uh, yeah, look pretty cute, for sure. Yes. Uh, I just I just challenged you, Shade. Oh, hold on. Uh, I got to switch teams. Yeah, switch it switch up. Teams? Make sure you get yeah, I... uh, yeah, your, your, new, yeah. your new axes in there. Okay. So we'll call it a win for Shade. We'll give it to Jeff K. Uh, well fought with the triple aqua. Um, I'm excited to see what you break out this time. Something <laughs> equally strong, I'm sure. Uh, I do yeah. remember the first time I played against that triple aqua, though, and it was it was scary. Yeah. I got yeah. demolished. Yeah. So so this upcoming build is uh, purely also for for show. Um, I wanted to try to get as many summons in as I could. Um, so I tried oh, to cool. get, get an axie with as many summon parts um, to get some of those uh, those minions out. And then uh, I got one with just a bunch of, of nutcrackers to show that. And then uh, last one is more rage focused. So I wanted to see if we can get some rage going here. Not that I'm angry, but... I sent you a big quest. rage fan. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready to hop in. Did you get it, Phil? I have not received it yet. Try again. It is going to take me a minute to get used to this new art style. I really like it, but my axes just look so different. Like, I look at this big yak like this is a oh, new creature. It. It's a new beast, you know? That looks awesome. I love that big yak. Yeah, she's uh, she's a real cute one. 
Front one is uh, Mr. Yams. That was uh, one of my first, first collectible axes, I guess. Way back when. Bought him like a year ago, I think. Nice. Yeah. Maybe just uh, reset, uh, do the old you, reset the old Mavis hub there if you're uh, not getting the battle to pop up. You try to do uh, request me. All right, I have just sent you a request. Is Mr. Yams fuzzy? Is that what that is? Is that why he's all spiky he like that? Think that's a fuzzy? I think it is. Wow, you know, I might have never really noticed that he was fuzzy before. It's way more noticeable now. I love it. Okay, I got it. Oh. Nice. Okay, we're going in. All right. Hey, there it is. The TV popped up. I've never tested this build. I made it last night at 1 a.m. Um, a lot of birds. It worked in my mind. So let's see. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> is that uh, double bird and a frontline aqua? So we've got heart of the ocean here. What are all these cards? We've got Lucas. Take one bird card from your draw pile. Pink cheek, discard two cards, then draw that many. Okay, that's similar to that uh, aqua one we just saw. If initial, apply sleep. Okay. Kestrel, so this... apply disarm. Wow. What should I summon here? A trunk, a mushroom, or a mavis? Ooh, I think people want to see the trunk. <laughs> That'll also right. really destroy my strategy here. Oh, really? All right, well, that <laughs> seems like a good call. All yeah, right, go trunk for the trunk. Coming in. The shiitake is pretty cute. Oh, it's in. Okay, so what does the trunk do? He t taunt? So, yeah, so it taunt. has taunt automatically. It's absorb damage. Okay. Dude, show us the Mavis. I want to see the bird. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, that's Let's do the Mavis, too. Uh, so the Mavis, before I, I summon it, what it does when your card, when your turn starts, Mavis reduces the energy of a random attack card. So it actually makes my, my cards more efficient. Um, each turn and there it is oh look how cute uh, yeah if you uh you can see the animation of it coming up if you oh my turn's over <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah so that mavis that'll randomly reduce the an energy um on of a my card right yeah yeah okay. Um, so the idea behind this build is it's inspired by um, in a, a strategy that uh, POS2, one of our support specialists from the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, had. So he his idea was um, double talk um, with a uh, with a rune on it or with a charm on it, so that um, I could start my hand, it, start the game with it. It has like an innate charm on it. Okay. Um, but uh, that truck kind of threw a wrench in my plan. The idea is to sleep one of his back lines um, and then use Kestrel on the front line. Okay, so sleep, the target cannot use abilities. If it's attacked, remove sleep. So right. that's it. You, mm, okay, that's, that's something all right. Four turns is kind of a lot. Yeah, it is. So is the summon strat actually good is another question, though. I, I appreciate getting to see it here for the sake of the demonstration, but I wonder <laughs> if it's actually uh, viable. I, I haven't put enough thought into the, the synergies with a lot of the different cards, um, but I think, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely viability probably not a deck like this where i'm just focusing on trying to get as many summons out as possible um but but potentially other ones <laughs> uh so yeah i wanted to show you know we have nutcracker here um so try to get a bunch of those out um but you'll see like if i if i do more nutcrackers later their damage uh goes up each time uh, um i do like so ronin like I, uh, I like Ronin with Carrot, for example. You get that extra energy, and then you play Ronin, and it does a little more damage. It's a pretty cool take. 
Um, now that there's, you know, crits are a little bit different. I think it's a cool way to hold true to how Ronin feels and give it some synergy, but, you know, clearly very different. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that one. All right, here you can see uh, some of the rage stacks. You get plus two damage per rage, and then when you hit 10, that's when you enter fury form and you deal double damage to the end of that turn. Oh, what is that? Belieber. Wow. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, you you're, you're about to go fury. <laughs> yeah, you're getting furious. You All won't right. like him when he's angry. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to rage soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Phil's about to go Super Saiyan for the first time. We're going to capture it here, live on stream. <laughs> Phil, were you more of a Goku or a Vegeta guy? I I would go back and forth. I mean, it depends on how much rage I have. But uh, yeah, I think I think Vegeta was always the more interesting character to me. Mm. The bad boy thing, yeah. Yeah, always, always trying to keep up. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Well, work, work harder. I feel like work harder. Uh, uh, all right. So I am. He's I'm furious. All right. Let's see some fury. So wow, I love that right. graphic too. The the glowing Axie, ready to launch. So uh, he's also got a big card here. Your team gains three rage if this Axie's below fifty percent. So nothing there, but one hundred and thirty on Shiba. That's a lot of oh, damage yeah. for even for that two energy. Huge. So that'll do double damage in fury mode. So I uh, think not to mention he got an extra energy when going into fury mode. So is the play mm -hmm. here to use hero first, see what you draw, and then yeah. maybe try to use Shiba on the midliner if you can get a kill. Yeah, I think that's that's the play here. So let's let's try it out. Oh, the crit doesn't do enough. I don't know what these secret debuffs do. Oh no. Uh, this is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. We're about to do a 270 crit to this 17 HP frontliner. Oh, man. What a heartbreaker. Oh, such a waste. No. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah, you really disabled all my stuff. Yeah. So that is Kestrel. Kestrel is the new Graveland. All right. Screw it. Let's just, uh, yeah, overkill this. Uh, this frontliner. Go for it. Let's see some big numbers. Two sixty-six. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that shade? That's extreme overkill. <laughs> oh, disabled okay. cards are the worst. Castle. And falling asleep is pretty bad too. So you got some pretty uh, effective effects there. So is this winnable for shade? I think so. I think so. He's got cards up his sleeve. I don't know this double bird lineup very well. Actually, in all of our testing, I think I've seen birds the least. So I, I'm learning alongside everyone else here. Still hanging on to that coin as well. So ramping up for a potential big combo. I have a lot of bad card draws here. Yeah. Dude, you gotta summon summon the shroom, bro. The shroom? All right. Yeah, hit us with the shroom. The so what the shroom does is it uh, it it just restores HP each turn, um, and then also loses HP, um, okay. so it'll decay so, over time. So it restores twenty four to your weakest axie. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Cute little supportive shroom. Happy little shroom. I feel like Sirius is also pretty good. Select one card to discard from your hand. You get to, to select it, and you just play it at the end when your turn's almost done as your last energy, and then you're like, yeah, sure, discard whatever, because who cares? We're about to discard him anyway. Yeah. And it does 90 totally. damage. Like, I'm a, I'm a serious fan. Ha, 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 ha. Was that reflection? Is that what just happened? You just got feared? Yeah, uh, yeah. The the bird has a secret debuff thing. I think it was that. Is that what this spiky yeah. blue shell thing is? Like this is. Yeah. Kingfisher. The next attack against this ally is reflected for eighty five damage. Whoa, whoa! All right, get out of here. All right. I think 
That's all for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see I had a had a quick heal there from the mushroom, I believe. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of uh, revenge revenge cards, cards here. <laughs> okay. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal here. So. But don't worry, you got the Kestrel, so you're good. Yeah, it'll help a little bit. He's got that mushroom there. It's gonna heal a little bit. <laughs> Love my mushroom. It's just dancing there. The summons are very cute. They definitely win, like, the cosmetics battle. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a flex if you, if you win with your summons. <laughs> I really like the way the beast class feels, though. I love the, uh, this rune a lot, Endless Anger. Gain three rage when your turn starts. Each rage grants one bonus damage. Dude. You just get so angry. Yeah. I want to I wanna mention that we're intentionally playing slowly. Right? Yeah. Uh, usually in a regular game, uh, it's, it's a little bit more fast-paced. <laughs> yeah, and, and we'll speed up a little bit, too, as we go on. But, you know, I want to yeah. give people plenty of time to try to absorb, you know, this new gameplay, some of these cards. I'm trying to, to do my best to explain as we go along. So we right. also, voice from above, butting in, we will be looking at data to see what the optimal turn timer. Right now it's 90, just you know to make sure that we have enough time to test and so you guys can explain, but we'll be looking at potentially adjusting it uh, way down actually. So uh, yeah, just keep, keep that in mind. So. Very nice. All right, some more spread damage here. Gain right. stealth. Oh, I wasted a, a rage. I wasn't counting my rage properly. Man, I have, I have so much energy left. I don't even have things to use it with. You went Super Saiyan and didn't even know it. What a flex. <laughs> Sometimes I just, you know, hulk out. <laughs> this is actually intense. This uh, Shade has pretty good axes, and I think he had, like, this is winnable. Let's see. We don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I've got two kingfishers here. I'll use both. Uh, I don't have anything to use this energy on. Yeah. I see. This is. I try to burn the coin early because I. I feel like I get stuck in this situation more often than not if I don't use it when I still have three axes alive. You, you just never yeah. end up in that perfect right. cycle oh, of. Just... Okay. Going in big. All right. Uh, what do we have? We got our... And do these secret debuffs, like, for example, if, if Phil were to pass right now, do those debuffs persist into the next turn, like, if you don't attack into them? Uh, normally, yes. But Kingfisher and Sarastas, uh, they specify next attack. So it's not like a specific round amount. Gotcha. So they'll stay until they get hit. So they're sticky. Okay. Yeah. Say so you get the kill on the backliner. Things heating up. Yeah, that fear, I believe, was what did it for me. Yeah, survive another turn. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, what a card draw. What a card draw. Now you're wishing you had that coin. Gravel ant. That forgot about that trunk there. Yeah, trunk. He <laughs> <laughs> was in the back, so I didn't see him. Hiding yeah, there. That tree's <laughs> memeing too. Look at the smile just, on his face. He's just like, it yep. just blended into the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's the trunk strat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> The trunk. Yeah, Damn. I was a hero trunk right now. Let's see if Phil gets dead carded, and he kind of does. Mm, yeah, I wonder. All right, I think I'm going to have to use this. Okay. Is it zeal time? All right, let's see. Might be zeal time. So, like, banish is a tricky yeah. thing to try to balance, right? If you use it too early, mm -hmm. you end up taking all these cards out of your deck, but 
You also still want to try to use these zero energy when you get value out of them. Ooh, the nutcracker. All right, I'm going to try to finish this one off. Oh, I got another fear. This is going to come uh, down to the wire. What else should we use here? Sure, let's summon one of these guys. You can bring out the bird? Yeah. I love the card art on Mavis as well. It's such a funny like angle to look at. It's like from the bottom up of a bird flying. It's pretty <laughs> adorable. Yeah. All right. Shade in trouble. It's a decent card draw, though. Okay. Yeah, it did. This is good. Okay. This is yeah. The... So my my beast has a uh, rune that gives me a bunch more rage, which is why I've been raging so hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a rager. <laughs> Ooh, coming in. Oh, man. I'm getting... All my cards are going to be disarmed or revenge cards now, I feel like. I, I like that Nemo tail where it heals you and gives you an energy. Ooh. But this it's a banish. Is useful. Oh, are you in fury to... mode? Uh, no. I... Like I've exited fury mode, oh, okay. um, but I was able to—I was mode. able to cleanse the disabled cards, uh, so that was really helpful. I feel like this—is this, is this a, a rune you've got here? This leftover potion? Yeah, this thing's pretty uh, solid. Recover four yeah. percent of your max HP at the end of your turn. I feel like it's—it's it's actually been doing some work. It's keeping you alive. Yeah, it's chipping away. At, uh, definitely helps. Right. Ooh. Right, oh well. no! See you later. Hey, is that your your secret power? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, it's the so Kingfisher. Annoying. Kingfisher's pretty good, dude. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like it's killed a bunch of my guys. Okay. I think Shade has a good chance here. Oh, okay. This is a solid draw. Get the Are Kestrel. you serious? You get Kestrel too? Oh, oh my no. gosh. I think you're actually going to win. This is ridiculous. Uh, I got some big debuffs here. Oh, All right, man. Phil. Really weak draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm all disabled, tough. so that's, that's tough to deal with. <laughs> all right, well. Oh, much. no. That Kestrel really helped me. So yeah, like, I, I guess you play your revenge cards, right? That's optimal. Just get what damage yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you have to just yeah. You gotta, you just mean, use just that get, energy. Get some value, and oh my god, is this a real card draw? Look at this. He gets the Kestrel, the Kingfisher, and the Double Talk. The comeback, Phil. I hate to say it, but I think you might have lost, buddy. I think so too. <laughs> it's all good. Got to, got to play some cool combos here, actually. You did Discovered get to some play new things some cool myself. combos. But, man, this disable, especially in the 1v1, like, you had a decent draw, but you just can't do anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, yeah. If, <laughs> if I could do something, I could finish pass. it, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Shay, this is mean. This, how are you going to do this to your, your co-worker like this on the, <laughs> the debut? <laughs> Next, uh, all right, GG. Next internal meetings are going to be awkward. Yeah, <laughs> GG, though. Wow. Well, I learned something today. The bird strat is solid. That was double bird plus aqua. So, there you go. Yeah, also, also, there are bird runes that are really good that it didn't use, right? Because we haven't revealed them yet. Ah, okay. Wow. All right, so summary, thoughts. Uh, a 2-0 for Shade. Jeff K, well played. Phil, well fought. Um, any thoughts about uh, Triple Aqua, Phil? You think maybe some, some tweaks is still in order here to tune things down a little bit? Triple Aqua seems pretty strong. Yeah, 
uh, we'll we'll see what what uh, people say once they get to to play with it a bit. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as we've said, there will be lots of changes and tweaks um, during the alpha. So uh, everyone should be very very yeah. aware of that. It's 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 hard it's hard to know right because we're such a small sample size and we're all just a bunch of noobs. So we don't know if you know Triblocka was good or not. Yeah. Well, it certainly feels good. I, I love the synergy of the card draw, and I, I like the banish mechanic because you really do have to think about, you know, do I want to try to go all in now and like actually burn a bunch of my cards out of my deck to get an advantage? Like we saw Shade get stuck with that coin of like I, I just want to use it, and then the very next turn he gets kind of the perfect draw and wants to have that that extra energy. Um, yeah. yeah, it's. Uh, it's a little more complicated. It's cool. I, I feel like it, it's it's a lot to get used to going from being able to save energy in that game theory of passing to always having to play out, but then having to play around your deck a little bit more. You know, you really have to think about the expected value of card draw when you're trying to use resources like that. It's uh, totally. It's interesting. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of things to think through every turn sometimes i yeah almost don't have enough time to, to figure out what i what the optimal strategy is yeah it's good well um i guess that means it's time to bring in jiho and the voice from above so we'll have a, a jeff versus jeff best of three uh, to wrap up our little demonstration here uh phil thank you so much for coming on today i appreciate you joining us and showing off of some uh, different mechanics here for Axie Origin. We'll certainly be excited to pick your brain moving forward as more things get revealed, more runes and charms to come, and of course, uh, a lot more coming to Axie Origin in the future. So uh, it's always always a pleasure and uh, looking forward to more of your tweets. Definitely excited <laughs> for it. Thanks, uh, thanks for hosting and yeah, I'll uh, have to get Jeff back another time. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll do a rematch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. We'll have to do a, a follow-up. We should do an internal tournament one of these days. That would be a fun little uh, like mini content thing to do once uh, yeah. once we get well into Season Zero. So, um, all right, cool. Well, we're going to do a little live production here as we swap things out. There you go. We've got Jeff K cut in half. Uh, Jeff, if you want to pop on your camera, uh, we'll, be, we'll be good to go there, and uh, I'll get you both set up. In the meantime, we can take a look at the beautiful Origin client and my beautiful Axies, Mr. Yams in the front. Uh, I think that's that's Mrs. Peppermint in the middle. And then that's uh, Rosie the backliner in the back there, the big yak. Look how cute that the mint with the strawberry, those cute little, I actually don't know what those eyes are, but they're super cute. Oh, we've got hey, a Jiho. 